In the previous few videos, we've looked at some of the basic counting arguments. We've looked at uh, how you count permutations, combinations. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is look at one of the classical types of uh, counting problems. So uh, let's uh, suppose when we have seven marbles, uh, say we have uh, five red marbles. And they're going to all be distinct, so we'll hear maybe they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we get five red marbles. I can make a marble out of that red. Okay. And supposing we have some green marbles here. I don't want to have too many, so uh, let's uh, look at two, two green marbles here. Okay, so we've got some red and green marbles. Okay. Now, uh, say what we would like to do is we're going to select, uh, say, three marbles. Choose three at random from this set. They're all in a bag of some sort, and we can't, we can't really. We just shake the bag up and reach in and grab them out. Now, uh, what we'd like to know is, first of all, uh, how many different... Uh, sets of three marbles can we come up with uh, so that we'd like to know the number of sets of three marbles well there's only seven all together and so remembering back to when we were doing combination what we're really doing is taking uh, seven things and we're just choosing three so if we want to know what this number is it's a pretty easy thing to calculate 7 times 6 times 5, and then divided by the 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 is 6. And so you see you could have uh, actually taken this 6 and canceled with this 6, and, and we can come up with a total of 35. Okay, so there's 35 different kinds of arrangements that we could uh, come up with in this combination. Now, supposing we weren't interested uh, in, we'd like some special properties of these. So a certain number of red, certain number of green. So let's take a look at how many ways, the number of ways, say to get, uh, oh, let's say two red. And if we're choosing three and one green. Okay, so how can we do this? Well, this, if you think about it, is an application of the multiplication principle. So we're going to have to make a choice for the, the red things here. So the red choices are going to be, we'll do the red, okay? And we're going to select two red, but how many reds are they? Well, there's five, so it's going to be the combination of five choose two, okay? And then once we've chosen the, the red, this number is just 10, of course. After we've chosen the red, now we need one more marble, and we want it to be green. So how do we choose that? Well, for the green case, okay, we can choose one from among the two green. And that's an easy one to calculate, too. The answer is that is just going to be two. So the total number that we come out with is going to be just a total of 20. All right, now, let's do a problem that's a little more complicated than this. Now, supposing we want to look at the number of ways to come out in the bag with at least one green. Okay, now, to do at least one green, now, the... The key uh, feature here is going to be this at least part, because what does that mean? That means our problem really breaks into two choices. It's, we have alternatives here. So first of all, there's going to be the one green case. And secondly, then there's going to be the two green case. because at least one means one or more. Well, we only have two in the whole pot, so uh, fortunately we didn't have three or four because then we had had to add more cases here depending upon how many possibilities there were. So now we work each of these cases separately 
just like we did the case up here. And so let's look at the one green case. Well, actually, the one green case is exactly what we worked up here. So you see, we calculated this. To do the one green, we've got to look at our one green. I'll just do it again. So we can choose one from among the two greens. And now we've got two marbles left over. The only other choices here are red, so we've got to have two red. Okay, so that means from among the five red, we have to choose two. And as we saw before, that comes up to be a total of 20 cases. Now, let's go look at the two green case. Well, let's analyze the green ones first. Okay, if we have two greens, we've got to choose two greens from among the two greens. Well, that means we get both of them. So I can write it. It's two choose two, but that only happens in one way. Well, are we done? Well, no, because we've only selected two marbles. we got one more marble to get, So, and that has to be a red. So we've got to throw in one red here. And so how many ways can that happen? Well, we could choose any one of those five. So it's going to be the combination of the five choose one. And, of course, it could be any one of the, the five things there. So this is just going to be five. So this total is just five. And what about the, the grand total here? Well, you see, this is just part of the addition principle. Five plus 20 is a total of 25 altogether. So uh, this is the basic idea of how you use some of these multiple some of these principles that we've had before we use the multiplication principle we use the addition principle we've used combinations this sort of puts it all together